squeeze over this one a little bit. In today's video, I will be um, simulating the whole season to see who, what NBA 2K22 thinks um, this, how 2K22 thinks this season will finish. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go to the end of every month and see how every team is faring. And then, yeah, once the award races are up, we'll check out who's leading that and go from there. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's check this out. So I'm, I've got the sixes currently, and we are going to see how everyone is doing. So after the first six games or so, now I'll go through who I think will be winning. I think this top eight's pretty good. Like, I'd probably take Washington out and put New York in. Um, and probably, oh, the Bucks have to be there obviously as well. So yeah, there's probably a few teams I'd take out of there, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty good so far. Pelicans, I hate that 2K hypes them up so much. Now, I don't think they're gonna be a first seed. Grizzlies will be more improved than that. And Warriors will be, see, yeah, the first month, well, the first, yeah, at the end of the first month, not really liking what I'm seeing at the moment. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought of the first two games that were played today. I'll probably be uploading this uh, on the 21st over here in Australia. So, yeah, I just finished watching the Lakers game. That was a good game, and I'm telling you now, Jordan Poole is a player to watch out for. Shout out to Paddy Mills as well. 21 points, 7 from 7 from 3. That's that's elite there. Love Paddy Mills, a fellow Aussie like me. So yeah, we've now gone through two, technically two months and Milwaukee take a big jump. So now this is looking a little bit better, uh, as is this one. So yeah, let's keep it going. Actually, let's have a look at player stats. We want to check out what every team's doing. So Joel Embiid killing it there. Giannis killing it there. Just, guys, if you want to pour... Wow, Vucevic. That's a huge jump. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so, you guys, if you want to, just pause when you see your favourite team. But until I find something... We, that's a big one, too. J Jalen Brown is above Jason Tatum. Was not expecting that. Paul George above Kawhi Leonard. That's crazy. What's going on? Ja Morant. Yeah, I can see that. Triple J, I can see that. Uh, Trey Young's killing it. The big three over there are killing it. Tyler Hero. I think he's going to do better than that this year, guys, if I'm being honest. The Mellow's really their uh, only star this year, it seems. I like that. Jordan Clarkson, doing better than he was last year. So I'm hoping, I'm assuming they're playing him off the bench. Then we've got De'Aaron Fox just taking the Kings, pretty much carrying the team there. Uh, you know, no surprises here either. No real surprises there. Again, no surprise. Luca killing it there. Poor Zingas is taking a big, big downfall. And 82 overall, that's a bit harsh. Surely he's not 82 overall. Kyrie, wow. This is, I'm a bit surprised about this. Joker and Murray. Like, obviously, I'm playing this with the injuries off as well. So maybe I should have uh, kept injuries on. But again, 2K is broken and we can't start today. So that sucks. Cade's doing all right. Not as good as I thought he would. Scotty Barnes. Could Loki get the uh, rookie of the year? Dallin Green's been good there too. Mar Murray's not an 87. I don't know what's going on here. All right. That's all right. Not too much to talk about here. Let's just keep it going. I won't, uh, we'll go, we'll still go month by month, but I won't have a, too much of a look into teams anymore. We'll just let it go through now. 
I just want to see like when the award races come up and stuff like that. I do want to see what's going on there, but we don't have award races yet. Let's have a look at the standings. That's pretty pretty much how I think it'll go too. Most of it is anyway. Kings could be a uh, dark horse this year. All right, here we go. So I'm assuming at the end of January we will see some award races. Here we go. So there's your awards, guys. What do you reckon? Kyle oh, Anderson, six men, okay. Defensive player, no real surprises there. And the most improved. Alright, let's keep this going, guys. All right, here we go. Playoff picture, this is what it's looking like at the moment. I don't disagree. Like, placement-wise, I do disagree, but teams, not so much. I think this definitely could happen. That I agree with, I don't agree with that. But most of that, yeah, I, I kind of do agree with. Denver Nuggets would not be that bad. All right, award races again. Luca, Josh, still the favourite. Andre Drummond's taken over now. Giannis is still Defensive Player of the Year favourite. Wendell Carter, well, wow, okay. All right, we we don't have much time left now, so this is pretty much where all the pieces will get put together. All right, so. Let's just have a look at season stats and then we will uh, just simulate the rest of it. So I'll just keep doing this, guys. Just pause it on your favourite team if you want to. Aaron Fox is carrying the Kings. It's pretty, that's pretty good Like for everyone to be scoring double digits. I don't know what's going on with Porzingis. Kyrie's improved again. This is disappointing. I don't like how the uh, Nuggets are falling. Pacers are not doing well. Zion is a 94. Come on, 2K. Kate Cunningham is an 88. Okay. All right, let's simulate the last few games. Giannis, Josh Giddy is the rookie, Andre Drummond six man, Giannis Defensive Player of the Year, and Wendell Carter Jr. is most improved with Steve Nash Coach of the Year. So, playing Sacramento, uh, Sacramento against Dallas, um, San Antonio against Minnesota. Okay, so let's go through the top eight and I'll tell you if I agree or not. I don't agree with New Orleans. I don't. I do agree with Brooklyn. I do agree with Miami and Chicago. I probably, I probably put uh, Phoenix to second, Lakers to third, and Jazz to first. Portland, I probably wouldn't have in there. I'd probably have the Nuggets there. Um, Philly, New York, yeah. Milwaukee, yep. Atlanta should be higher. Boston, kind of agree with. And Raptors and Wizards, yeah, could happen. All right, so let's simulate playing. Timberwolves make seven. Spurs make eight. Not going to happen. Atlanta and Boston finish this, the Eastern Conference off. That side is pretty good. Like, the teams that made it, I kind of agree with. These... No, I don't agree with either, either of them. I do agree these two teams will make the playoffs. I'd say these two probably will make the playoffs. Maybe not Portland. Lakers will. 
I'd love for Minnesota to make it as it is my team, but I doubt it. I don't see it happening. All right, so let's simulate round. All right, so Pelicans against Suns. Okay, that's not happening. But it's all good. Pelicans against Utah, Brooklyn against Philly. Philadelphia versus the Jazz, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, 2K, you'll just... Fair enough. There we go, guys. Ben Simmons will apparently win finals MVP. That would be a good final series, though, to go into seven. Won't lie about that. Defensively, too, that would be good to watch. But anyway, guys, that will wrap it up for me. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.